what is going on guys welcome back to another video it's been a while but I am back now and I'm gonna just start doing tutorials of whatever I think I don't know like mostly Adobe tutorials so uh, today I'm back and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a banner so I just actually rebranded my channel again this will be the second time now and uh, I need a new banner so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this banner right here um, I'm gonna try to get as close to it as possible so we're gonna go ahead up here and we're gonna create a new project you're gonna want this project to be 1920 by 1080 pixels just like this as you see right here width 1920 height 1080 make sure it's in pixels uh, resolution 300 RGB color background content so you can go transparent go ahead and create that we're gonna start by going to Google once we're here we're gonna just look up YouTube banner template right here and go to images and uh, just a tool to help you guys go over here to tools size larger than or just go to large large is good actually medium might be better no large okay this one right here will work um, as you can see the dimensions are 2560 by 1440 that's actually 4k but it'll work so you just want to save that save it wherever you're able to and then just go ahead and drag that into Photoshop okay so now that you have this in here this you're just gonna use as a template pretty much this is what you're gonna be able to see on someone's channel this is what you're gonna be able to see so what we're gonna do is just to help us out we're gonna go right here to the rectangle tool and this can be any color you want and uh, just get it as close to as possible and just drag a rectangle on this bottom part right here and then we're just gonna click control J or command J if you're on Mac and as you see over here that's gonna create another layer so then we're gonna hit control T and uh, just drag this rectangle up and just line it up with that line When you're making these rectangles, it's better for them to be like on the like you don't want them to overlap into this area. It's better for them to be higher up here than it is in this area, if that makes sense. So that looks good to me. So now you have those rectangles and now you can actually click on this and just click backspace and delete that. So you're going to want to find a pattern of some sort or you can make your own if you know how to do that. Um, but you just want a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and go to paste linked. Let me find this one. Don't mind this picture of Owen Wilson here. Okay. So you're just going to want to drag that into Photoshop or not drag it. In. You want to put it in Photoshop. You want to make sure it's under these rectangles. So it's behind these rectangles. No, what am I clicking? So I'm gonna click Control T and just I'm gonna hold Shift as well so that it doesn't get squished or anything. And I'm just gonna drag this out like this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Actually, what I'm gonna do just because I'm an organization freak when I'm working on this, I'm gonna click on one rectangle, hold Control, click on the other. Then I'm gonna click Control G. So that's going to put our rectangles in a group together as you can see. So now I just know I need to work on everything under this group. So after we have our rectangles grouped you want to make a new layer. So you just go down here click new layer. So as you can see I have this layer under the rectangles. And then you also want to make sure your rulers are on. So to put your rulers on you go up here to view and go down here and make sure that it has a check by it right by rulers. and you want to get a ruler out in the middle so it'll pop up like this 
we just hold control and drag it out and it should snap right in the middle as you can see and now you're ready to work with your pen tool so I'm gonna try to create a shape a lot like the one I did in, in uh, this one so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start my point right here and then I'm gonna hold shift and that's gonna help me create a perfect 45 degree angle so I'm just gonna hold shift and click somewhere down here as you can see it created a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna hold shift again and I'm going to click on the ruler and then I'm gonna go up click up here just come over here and complete the shape once you have your shape made you want to go ahead and right click click make selection and just click OK and if you see that it's like inverted like this all you want to do is go up here to select click inverse and now you'd see there's not gonna be like a line around here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the color black and then we go to the paint bucket right here and just click and then you can click control D to deselect it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of this shape so we're gonna click control J and then we're gonna go up here to image or we're gonna go up here to edit transform flip horizontal click control T and just drag it over make sure it's all lined up still so as you can see if we get rid of our background we have this right here now we're gonna want this to be one shape so we hold control and make sure both these are selected so you just hold control and click on both of them and then you want to right click convert to smart object and then as you can see it's all on one layer now and uh, you can just hold control and go to your ruler and drag it back over here so it's out of the way and make sure this is visible oh we messed up so you're just gonna click if you mess anything up just click uh, control alt Z and then you can change it make sure they're up against each other sorry about that go back here make sure it's a smart object drag that back all right we're all good so now what we want to do is as you can see I have this pattern on here this is actually gonna be kind of backwards I guess I have this pattern on here still um, so we're gonna go back to the same pattern so place linked grab that pattern and uh, I'm gonna actually shrink it I want this to be around the same size as our little shape we created make sure it's centered so now as you can see we have these on top of each other make sure that the second pattern that you just put on not the one that's your background but this one make sure it's above the shape we created and you're gonna want to go up to this shape or up to your pattern right click go down here to create clipping mask and as you can see it just formed onto that shape so it's inside of that shape now so now what we want to do is we want to emphasize this shape we want like people to be able to see it because as you can see if you look really hard you can barely see the shape so we want to go down here to the shape not the pattern the shape and right click and go up here to blending options and we're just gonna do some stuff to it so the first thing I think we're gonna do is go here to outer glow and I'm gonna actually change this to white and then maybe even a drop shadow on it would look good it doesn't do that much because this is black but this is all of your um, this is like all your preference you can just do whatever you want to this that you think looks good so I actually think that looks pretty good so now you can see we can see that there's like two different layers here this is like its own individual shape so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put all of this in a group so click all of them click control Z and then now so we have our rectangles on top of this then we have our shape and everything below it so now we're gonna do our text so I'm gonna put counter visuals because that's what my channel is called that's my brand I just put contour all 
Um, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. You just hold control and it helps make it bigger. And then I'm gonna make sure it's centered just by dragging it to the center and it should click to the center. Still gonna make it bigger. All right, so when you're done with sizing it, you just click the check mark. And uh, I've moved it up a little on the shape because I'm actually gonna put my Instagram down here. And uh, so now as you can see, we have this. And actually, if you want to, you can mess with the text. So you just click back on it. If, make sure you're on the text tool. And you go up here to this and you can warp it. So say I want it to be, um, Say uh, we'll go with this bulge. Um, you just mess with the bend. Oh well, maybe I don't like this. Okay, no, we're not doing bulge. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, I'll just do arc. So I'm gonna mess with the arc of it. I like that. Drag it down a little. There. So now we put our channel name on here. Now I want to put my Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and you just have to find an Instagram uh, logo. I actually have a bunch of these logos in a pack right here as you can see. I'm not sure where I got this from. I got it forever ago. You can probably just look up uh, like social media logo packs and you'll find one. So we want Instagram. Where's Instagram? Where's Instagram? Right here. Just click. Uh, place and as you can see it's black so we're actually gonna change that I'm gonna drag it and make it smaller though see how it's staying the same proportion like it's not like going like this when I drag it that's because I'm holding shift when I'm making it smaller so I'm only gonna put my Instagram on this one um, but you guys can put any social medias you want so you just drag it to your preferred size put it where you want on the uh, on the banner um, now as you can see it's black if this happens to you if you can't really see it because it's like blending in with something you can just go up here right click you go back to blending options and uh, you can put a color overlay on it as you see make sure it's on normal um, and I'm just gonna make it white I'm actually gonna move it so I just click control T we'll put it right here and we'll just see what happens um, so now I have my Instagram logo there as you can see I'm just gonna put my Instagram oh no I'm not gonna put my personal we'll go counter visuals follow me on Instagram if you guys don't at counter visuals so uh, we're gonna put it next to the Instagram logo make sure the sizes are sort of the same and uh, I think that looks pretty good I might want to move this over a little just hold control make sure you're clicking on it because like say I click right here it's probably gonna grab the background yep so just make sure you guys are clicking on the actual logo there that looks good to me so yeah this is a really basic uh, just YouTube banner I hope you guys followed along well if this did help you guys please leave a like subscribe for more I'm gonna be posting a lot more uh, tutorials and stuff along the lines of Adobe and Photoshop and whatnot so yeah like I said if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video Oh, <laughs> oh,